when we're creating engaging video, the audio we use is just as important as the visuals. By effectively combining the two together, we can produce draw-dropping, heart-racing content that evokes emotion and grabs our audience's attention. working with multiple layers of video and audio, maybe that's music tracks, sound effects or voiceovers, sometimes it can be a little bit fiddly to edit. After all, with the capability of LumaFusion to layer six video audio tracks and an additional six audio only tracks, there can be a lot going on at once. So although this gives us a lot of creative freedom, we as editors need to really pay attention to the sound levels of all of the tracks on our timeline, making sure the audience hears exactly what they're supposed to. You know, we've all been there, we're watching a video on social media or online or even on television, where we can't really hear the presenter. Maybe the backing track is just far too loud or there's too many things going on at once. So whether you're working on a film, TV show, documentary or social media post, you'll most likely be combining audio together to make your piece more exciting. Audio levels are therefore really important and not something we can ignore when we're editing video. We can, if we like, control the audio level for an entire track on our LumaFusion timeline by tapping the audio mixer icon here at the bottom left of our editor and using these sliders to bring the levels for each track up and down. So for example, sliding this white circle to the left will reduce the volume of everything on this track and sliding to the right will increase the levels of everything on the same track. Double tapping will bring the audio level back to zero and tapping the speaker icon will mute the entire track. To be a lot more specific with our audio and to make changes to individual audio clips as opposed to an entire track, we have to double tap on our clips in the timeline one by one to open the LumaFusion audio editor. Here we can add a variety of effects and adjustments to our audio, which of course we'll get onto in future videos. But at the core of the audio editor is the gain control, where we can increase and decrease the volume of an individual clip. Now, when we're layering multiple pieces of audio together, we often come here on each layered clip to make manual adjustments until we're happy with how our audio levels sound when we play them back together. We can even add audio keyframes to create changes in the audio level as a piece plays through. So in this example, I want the audio music track to start off loud with these clips on screen and then fade quieter while my interviewee is speaking before gradually getting louder at the end. So I can double tap on my music track here and make my keyframe changes to the gain as I scrub through the video. If keyframes are new to you, please check out our beginner's guide to getting started with keyframing. Now you can see here I've made my changes with the audio starting loud and then phasing quieter before increasing at the end. But as you can tell, it can be a little time consuming, especially if you have a lot of audio layers playing at once on your timeline that you need to think about. Sometimes keyframing audio can confuse matters as you might be tempted to create complex scenes like this with audio levels moving all over the place. You might also find this technique, as great and as useful as it is, to sometimes be a bit too specific for the videos that you're working on at hand. Sometimes you just want to whip up a video and get it exported and published. So in that case, I'd like to introduce you today to audio ducking. Audio ducking is a magic effect that we can use to automatically lower the audio level of one or more tracks whenever our master clip is playing. That's the clip we want to prioritize the one that we want our audiences to hear really, really clearly. So going back to our example here, where we wanted the audio music track to start off loud, then fade quieter during the interview before gradually getting louder at the end of our project. Instead of using audio keyframes, we can tell LumaFusion to automatically reduce the levels of this track whenever this clip is playing, meaning you don't have to make a whole load of manual changes to the audio levels. Audio ducking is found in the audio editor under this configuration menu. These are the three setting choices for our clips to be assigned to, master, auto, and none. Master refers to the main audio that you want to clearly hear, the one that will take precedence over other clips. In our example, this is our interview clip. We want to hear the person speaking. Auto refers to the secondary audio, normally music or background noise as we have here. 
This audio will be lowered in volume whenever a master audio clip is playing. When a clip is labelled as none, it means the clip will not take part in the calculation of audio ducking and will remain the same level as it has been set manually, regardless of the properties of the clips it's layered with. Now, in order for audio ducking to work, there must be a clip set to master and a clip set to auto, and they must overlap on different tracks of the timeline. So here I'm going to double tap my interviewee clip and set the audio ducking configuration to master. I do this because this is my most important clip and I want the audio of it to be dominant over any other layered audio on my timeline. Then I go back to the timeline and I double tap the backing track to open up the audio editor and I ensure it's set to auto. This way it will automatically duck in volume when that master clip begins to play. You'll notice that auto is the default value that's been set. That's great because if you had 11 other audio tracks next to your master, you won't have to go into each one individually, you just set the master clip. Notice now when I play my video through, the audio level will duck down when my interview starts and come up again when it ends. That's because this interview clip is my master clip. The other audio clips bow down to it and give it prominence. In the early 60s, that's when the pirates were about. And yes, I was a small time pirate, which was absolutely lovely. And radio got in my blood from then on. What's cool is that if you split a master clip up, all of the individual parts will have that master configuration. So you can spread these out throughout your project and as long as the other audio pieces that are layered on top or below it are set to auto, their audio level will drop to highlight the master clips, just like this. early 60s that's when the pirates were about and yes I was a small time pirate which was absolutely lovely and radio got in my blood from then on if you want more control over your audio ducking head to the help and settings menu by tapping this cog icon and navigating to the ducking tab here you can control the audio ducking settings that will be applied to every project you create that have both auto and master clips defined. My advice here though would be to get started with the ducking settings as they're already set within your editor. Playing around with the clips you have in your camera roll, setting some to be master and some auto when layered above a music track for example, and then experimenting with the ducking settings to get the effect you're looking for and better understand how the audio will be affected in your projects. So as we've just seen, audio ducking is a really fantastic time-saving technique that we can put into practice fairly easily within our projects every time we're working with layers of audio. So give it a go, let us know how you get on. And of course, if you have any questions or concerns, please do pop them in the comments below and we'll be sure to get right back to you. We love hearing from you and we read every single comment. For more live in-person training, please head over to the Luma Touch Academy, luma-touch.com forward slash academy, where we have a range of workshops that you can jump in on and get involved, and you can come and train with us in person. Until then, I'll see you next week.